fabric and I have some plans. If you want to know what they are, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Susie from Thread Quarters. Thanks for joining me again today. I am back today with a fabric haul and some sewing plans um, for the next little while. If you hear anything in the background, it's my wee boy is running up and down the stairs. Um, so, sorry about that. Okay, you want to pop in and say hi? Yeah, it's there. Hi. <laughs> Who are you dressing up as? Dressing up as Harry Potter. Yeah? What's that in your hand? Apple. Oh, apple. A, snake. a snake! What's the snake for? For for number two. Oh, Harry yeah. Potter. The second Harry Potter, there's a big snake in there, isn't there? <gasps> right, off you go and be Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. So, if you caught my uh, vlog last week, it was a chatty one, um, but I was talking about the disaster that was a pair of clots that I was trying to make from some lovely leopard print fabric. Actually, I've got them on at the moment because I'm doing all my filming in one go while I can. And um, they have just been like eight weeks in the making and just so much. Um, halfway through it, I was just feeling like I had lost my sojo. Uh, so I whipped together a couple of really simple t-shirts for my son and I loved them and they went easy and they looked lovely and you know I made two t-shirts in one evening so I thought you know what I need a bit more of that in my life so <laughs> I have uh, done a wee bit of jersey fabric shopping plus pulled jerseys out of my stash and I have a lot of jerseys to sew up now but because they're so quick I really hope I can get them sewn up quickly. The other reason why I kind of want to do that as well is because um, I've just fallen out of love with a lot of my uh, me maids at the moment. Um, I have been on a little bit of weight, not a lot but just to the point where um, just things don't sit as nicely on me as I would like them to so and I, w I want to lose that weight again and I'm working on that at the moment but I would also like to have some nice clothes to wear right now so jersey is a good way to go so I have a few fabrics that I think I'm gonna sew it quickly be able to wear them now and just feel a bit better about myself which is something I need to feel right now especially with lockdown as well um, yeah, I think we're all just, you know, getting a bit fed up, to be honest, aren't we? I think we're all definitely getting a bit fed up. Um, but, you know, we have to do what we have to do, and that's just that. But if there's any way I can make myself feel a bit better, oh, you know, this might be not a bad thing. So, long ramble over, let's get down to the fabrics. So, I've got... Um, it's all a big mishmash here. I have, everything's nicely washed. I've got some new stuff, some old stuff. Everything's washed, ready to go now. So it doesn't look as lovely as when it arrives in post, but better that it's washed and I can get on with my sewing. Where am I gonna start? Right, I'm gonna show you some things I'm gonna make for my son, just with that same pattern. I will um, link down below. It's a free t-shirt, but only if your child is between four and five, which very conveniently my child is and the pattern is absolutely a perfect size for him you saw him just there he's you didn't see his body though but he's he's quite slim build put it that way um and it's quite a neat fit so bear that in mind if you're you'd rather have a baggier outfit or if your child is a bit chunky nothing wrong with that but you know is what it is link down below for Maid every day and you know she has an amazing sewing YouTube channel far more uh, advanced than my <laughs> my wee, wee one that I've got in the corner of the internet uh, so I'm sure you've all heard of her but if not check them out loads of um, great resources there she does loads of tutorials and things like that and she's got a sew along for that t-shirt as well anyway I'm going to sew up a few more because as I say they're super quick to sew up and I picked up this is one that's actually new I picked this one up I actually wanted this fabric for so long really for myself but 
I'm gonna just make it for my son. And it is from First for Fabrics. And that's it there. These really awesome chameleons, black and white chameleons on a really lovely green foliage background. And I've only got half a meter of this, but it's more than enough for a t-shirt. I'll have extra bits left over. Maybe I'll make myself a pair of pants with the leftovers. And the reason why that's quite comical is because this is magic um, fabric <laughs> in that it changes color in the sunlight. I'm gonna hold it up to the window and come back and see if, I don't know if it works through a window. It might have to be direct sunlight. I'm gonna try. Uh, no. <laughs> I hung it, out, hung it out the window and it didn't work. Okay, I'll try and get a shot of it in the sunshine. Basically, the, um, the chameleons all turn pink and yellow and green um, and it's really cool, so. Um, my son wasn't too fussed on this. He's very particular, I have to say, about what he wears. Um, but uh, once I showed him that it was magic, changed everything. So I'm gonna make that up and I'm gonna do the neckband just in black ribbing. Um, might put black ribbing on the cuffs here. Don't know, might not bother. Um, next one for my son is going to be this one I've had in my stash. Yeah, I have no idea where I got it from, sorry. It was a, like a remnant piece I got anyway, so they probably wouldn't have it in stock anymore. But as you can see, it's lovely. And um, Sea Monsters on a lovely stripe. And I did buy that specifically for my son. And there's bits cut out of it because I've already got it cut out, ready to go. And I'm going to do the neckband in red so it'll bring out the red bits of the sea monsters as well i think that looks so nice and speaking of the red i have this fabric here these are all cotton jerseys by the way um really lovely quality they all feel very very nice i have this one here again i'm not exactly sure this might have come from textile express i don't know again from my stash but I'm gonna make another t-shirt for him in this fabric, again, with a red neckband, just the same. This is some Ponty. I know this came from Sewers Faction. Yay! <laughs> Finally remembered one of my stash's um, sources. And I actually bought this for myself, so I have quite a lot of this. So I have cut myself out a t-shirt to make out of this. And the t-shirt that I am using is the uh, Bronte t-shirt by uh, Jennifer Lauren Handmade. V the word vintage might be in there too somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I use her Gable t-shirt all the time. I've made it many, many times and I really love it with the adjustments that I've made. But um, I'm kind of getting over the high neck, um, high neck, high neck. And um, I want some with something else going on here and just a bit more, actually quite a bit more of a scoop. The Bronte does have a scoop neck, but it's not, not overly scooped. But what it does have is overlapping. So the back pieces, I think, it, yeah, the back piece comes over like this. And then the neck band goes under, the front neck band goes underneath the thing. You'll see it in the photograph here. Um, and you can use contrasting ribbing for that to make a detail out of it, which is beautiful. So I am going to use this red with this, and I think it's going to look really, really nice. Um, Tilly and the Buttons came out with um, her version of that. I'm going to go get the pattern. Yeah, uh, this one, which you can see has the um, tie at the back as well. That's option. You can either have it with or without that, but it has the um, fold over bits. More of a boat neck than curved neck that the Bronte has. And I obviously own this pattern. I own the Bronte too, I've never made it. I've not made this one. And I have loved this back here is one of the reasons I picked this up straight away because it's very like this Cezanne um, t-shirt that I've had pinned for years and I've always thought I'd like to try and hack that and do a 
course, when someone does it for you, of course, it's a lot easier, isn't it? However, guys, I have looked on Instagram at all the makes of this pattern and I don't really like the way it sits on the front. It just seems to pull a lot and it might be to do with it being more boat neck than curved like the Bronte. The pictures I've seen on Instagram of the Bronte look neater, less pulled um, and seem to fit the makers better. So I went for the Bronte instead of the Romy. Romy, Romy. Um, we'll see. We'll see what it's like when I make it up and I will be full disclosure to you when I make it up what I think of the fit of the Bronte. Maybe I should make one of these up to compare. I may, I may not. You know, I'm sort of struggling getting any time to sew at all. So to do something like that, oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's that. And the rest are fabrics that I want to sew up ASAP as well, but I'm still deciding what patterns to use. So I have another, I've had this in my stash for a little while. I'm not sure where it's from, but it's an art gallery um, jersey and it's got geckos on it. And I love it so much. It's just so quirky, but slightly understated quirkiness. Oh, hello. Are you gonna come in here? Come on, come on, say hello. No? Biscuit. Biggie. The cat's here. I don't know if she's gonna come and say hi. She's very shy. She doesn't really like me. She loves my husband. She's just not a very friendly cat. I mean, she's nice, but. Mm. Are you gonna come? Are you coming? Hello. in my video yeah this is biscuit hello biscuit hello Oop. you want to come over here come on and that's that she's away now anyway <laughs> it's my cat <laughs> i don't think she's ever been in a video ever i have two the other one is her sister looks like her but is half her size and neither of them are friendly. They don't sit on your knee. They barely sit on the seat beside you. They run away from my son. Anyway, we love them anyway. So, <laughs> tangent, right back to this. Um, yeah, so uh, it's just, it might be another Bronte, but I would like a contrasting, um, I don't know what if I would do the contrasting thing and what colour it would be. I know I don't have anything in my stash at the moment that would be suitable. So no, maybe not. Um, I forgot to say, for the Bronte I'm making some changes because that is what I do. Because I had made the gable top from Jennifer Ann Lauren before or one of her t-shirt patterns before um, and I have tweaked it to suit me better. I don't want, as I said, I've put on a little bit of weight, but in general, since having my son especially, I don't like to wear tight things around my stomach. It's just, you know, a personal choice and everyone's allowed to have their own personal opinions of their bodies, that's okay. Um, and I just choose to not wear tight fitting things around my stomach. Um, so I have, for the gable, um, graded from I think it's a 12 to a 22 something crazy like that but because the gable is very curved um, around the waist and then I'm pear shaped anyway so I would need to grade out for that anyway and also a nice curved waistband too so I have taken those um, and transferred them to the Bronte and I'm doing the same for it hopefully it works out well you will see whenever I get them made up but anyway, whatever I make it's with this, it's going to have a similar sort of, it's basically just straight up and down kind of t-shirt, maybe a slight curve um, in the sides. If you have any suggestions, I would quite like a lower neck, sort of like that. Not as deep as the plantain. I have that free pattern um, and it's too deep. 
the um is it the agnes by tilly and the buttons mm, i have that one too i have a lot of patterns uh, a lot of patterns i haven't made i haven't made that one i don't want the poofy sleeves it's not for me just normal sleeves so i might try agnes neckline and sleeve normal sleeves in this and then straighten out the because it's also fitted straighten out the sides put a curve on it because i always like a curve and do that with this one maybe then i have a crazy print that i picked up from material girl laura she has really lovely prints really really nice this one is crazy i think it was on in in the sale which is sort of what made me go oh, okay i'll get it but yeah, but I mean, it's colors that really suit me, you know, and in the summertime, it's a nice, um, fun top to wear. I think it's, it's going to be another t-shirt. These are all going to be tops. Um, again, I could maybe do the Bronte and then I have a, a like a green jersey that's very similar to the green in this that I could um, use as the contrasting um, detail. Or just a plain Agnes, similar or similar if you can tell me a suggestion for a t-shirt pattern. Or, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to do a bit of research on what would be nice with this. What do you think? I'd love to know. Right, and the last three are brand new as of yesterday. Woohoo! But they've already been washed and ready to go because I absolutely love them. They were completely a treat to myself um, because I just was, I totally didn't need any new fabric, but you know, when you just kind of just want, you want some new fabric, make something nice. <laughs> So um, yeah, and I'm supporting um, small businesses as well by doing this. And these are all from Material Girl Laura. And I kicked myself because I bought them and then realized she had a discount code and I didn't use it. And I'm not the kind of person that would email her and say, oh, I didn't use a discount code. Can you put that discount on for me, please? Because personally, no, I think that's rude. Um, and I'm supporting small businesses and she can have that extra 10% that I uh, could have saved but didn't. That's okay. <laughs> if it had been to like a really big, big corporation, that would have been different. But to, you know, just to Laura, <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, so which one am I gonna show first? I'm gonna show this one. The colors in all of these are just so me. If you know me at all, they're all my colors and I love them for it. Um, this is a viscose jersey, so it's drapey. And look at that, you can see there's the drape to it. It's very, it's very, very stretchy. And I think it's pretty much going to be an ebony tee, I think. Of what length, I'm not sure. Probably not the raglan type, probably just the sleeve like that. I just, I think it's nicer on me. I have quite wide shoulders and raglan sort of accentuates that. I do like a raglan, but yeah um might be the sort of tunicky length and then it's just sort of really relaxed i love lauren guthrie's um cropped ones that she did a, a vlog on recently ah but I, I need it to be lower cover up that she's she's so thin she can get away with that listen i talk too much about that i'm gonna stop that but yeah it'll be longer for me uh but i really like it and it's lovely colours on me too. I try not to pose too much in front of the camera. And then I'm going to save the best to last that I'm totally in love with. I have loved this one from um, Material Girl Laura for ages, but I never got it. Um, and then it went out of stock and I regretted it. And uh, came back in stock and I was like, stuff it, I'm going to get it. So this is actually a cotton jersey. Um, and it's just really fun. I just just fun it's just fun you can wear it on valentine's day kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> yeah red lips like i've got on now red lips on my um top as well um again just a wee t-shirt of some sort um what would you make out of this tell me um i just want to whip up a whole pile of tops so i have some nice things to wear in this lovely weather that we're having 
And the last one, you've probably seen little bits of it there. Um, I loved when it first came out in all the fabric shops in the UK, all sort of came out together at the same time. It's a Lady McElroy fabric. And I loved it, but I thought, is the background cream? I don't wear cream. I don't like it on me. I don't think it suits me. I suit white, a really vivid, strong, pure, crisp white. Anything that's slightly muddied white, cream, accru, whatever, you get the gist. It's not for me. And I have had to pass on fabric that I have bought and I've got it and realise it's cream and then I have to like give it to someone else because I'm just not interested in wearing it. And it's very disappointing. Anyway, saw loads of people making it up and um, I'll just show it to you. And... Um, I thought, I don't, I think it's white. I think it's white. And I mean, I could contact someone, but I just never trust anyone else's answer when it comes to telling me whether something's white or not, because everyone has a very different opinion on what is white. And now that I've got it, it is ever so slightly off white. Like if you get this one, you can see, yeah. This is very white and there, so that's definitely got a creaminess to it, but it's not that cream. And to be honest, I love it so much that I'm calling it white. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, it sold out everywhere. Once I decided, yes, I think I will get it. I think I really, really love it and I will get it. Sold out everywhere. Literally everywhere. I tried all the shops. And then, just on my Instagram feed, the very next day after my mammoth search online to try and find some, um, Material Girl Laura popped up on her feed saying, oh, this is back in stock. I was like, whoa! So there and then I went on and I grabbed it and then I grabbed those other ones. So I really went on to get this. And I think I have two meters of this. So, I mean, I could make something more than a dress with it. And do you know what I think would be lovely in this? It's a viscose, um, very, very stretchy viscose jersey. Um, a kilo wrap dress would be sensational in this. Oh, and I am very tempted to make that. The only thing I don't think I would like about it, I've not made the kilo wrap dress by the way, um, but I've seen loads and I would like to make it. Um, the sleeved version, because I always have to have sleeves. Um, but because of the stretchy viscose, and the slinkiness of the dress, I'm worried that it might like just cling cling to my bum and thighs a bit too much. Um, and it might be a little bit see-through as well. What do you think? Uh, do you own this fabric? Or have you made a kilo wrap dress in a jer uh, viscose jersey? Is that a bad idea? What do you think? Um, otherwise, it'll probably be a closet case ebony tea. Um, like the uh, the other splodgy viscose one just because actually i've made the ebony tea a couple of times and i've always thought to myself i need to make more of these i really love them i feel great in them so um i might just go ahead and do that and i think the ebony tea uses uh nearly two meters of fabric because it's so wide it's really it's like a big tent but a nice you know a flattering tent um, especially in the, the viscose jersey because it drapes. You can make it in a scuba to accentuate that um, tent light feature and that looks really cool actually. Um, in a to it's a totally different vibe. I love the way different fabrics really change the look of a pattern and it can be good or it can be bad, you know, but um, it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. And that is the end of another super chatty vlog. You can tell that I haven't filmed in ages because I'm blah, 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 chattering away like crazy. And it's just so lovely to talk about fabric and not Star Wars and superheroes and Harry Potter and um, DIY and how to fix a leaky tap which is the general conversations I have with the two men that I'm sharing a house with at the moment. 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Pop a comment down below, say hi. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, um, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I do lots of chats about um, what I'm going to be making, different sewing hauls, sewing plans, sewing fails last week, oh, sewing successes, things I've made, different tutorials, sew-alongs, great sew-alongs for beginners, um, and... Um, lookbooks and things like that so if that's up your street then please do um hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell as well if you want to get an email to let you know i've got a new vlog up so anyway guys i hope you are all staying safe and keeping happy and i will see you again soon hopefully bye